Hey, don't worry, bro. Yes, guys, welcome back to the Spurs talk show. You know who I'm here with, no other than Mr. Box Office, Alex THSE. How are you, Alex? Um, if you don't know, get to know. That's how I feel at the moment, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, we're, we're top of the league, like they say, but I'm not getting too excited. But anyway, yeah. Well, let's start off with um, the performance. I've asked a lot of people about the, uh, the team selection. Seems like everyone was kind of expecting something similar to what we got. Um, the performance overall. Alex, here's, here's the question I've got for you. We're top of the league. We're two points clear. If we beat Crystal Palace on Friday, we go into the weekend five points clear before anybody else can, can kick a ball. Are the performances representative of where, of our league position? No, no, we 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 we, we haven't popped yet. No, we haven't. We, you know, today today could have been a a, a dodgy one, and um, it could have been a dodgy one thanks to Vicario who saved us in the beginning of the first half. Classy save, wasn't Classy it? Classy save, and that was a crucial part of the game for me. That was a crucial part of the game because we started well. I'll say that we did, we, you know, we gave a little bit of energy, but then we had a bit of a lull, and then we had there the corner, Polino over the top, boom, he makes a really good save with his left hand, so like, really good save, and for me, I think that saved it completely, and then they made the mistake, Son, boom, one nil, game over for me. You know what I mean? They didn't have anything, didn't have anything after that, and I think it was, I didn't think we needed to get. You think, out. You think Fulham had nothing today? Well, I think, I think. The, 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 the Fulham of last season isn't this season let's just say they're that they're missing right. Mitrovic aren't they yeah they're missing yeah they just they didn't have anything but I thought I thought I thought the person up front I can't remember his name now the, 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 the former Tottenham player Vinicius Vinicius I thought he was going to cause us a little bit of problems but he wasn't that great wasn't he so but overall it was a good performance and I mean when I say good not over the top great good it, it felt like it was comfortable the yeah. whole time. I never felt like Tottenham were in, in risk of losing the points today. But for me, and again, I'm going to get criticism in the comments here for, for coming away like negative. I'm, I'm, I'm very happy with the, the output. I'm very happy with the outcome. But I just, I felt like we were a little bit sloppy at oh, times during that game. I agree. That's why I say it's good. I agree. Absolutely agree. I don't think it's, it's not mind blowing. No, it's not. It's not, not at all. No, I, you're not. You're not negative at all. I actually agree with you. I, I think it's it's good. You know what I mean? But you know, it, for me, I, like I said, I've, I've said it before. I, I I'm waiting for us to have a bad run now because I think we will lose games. We will lose a game. We're not going to. Where's the next time we look? What's the next game you see coming that we're losing? Well, we haven't got Aston. We haven't played Aston Villa yet. They're yeah, going to be a problem. They're, they're, they're fourth on the list. West Ham are going to be a problem. They're, they're not until December. They're going to be a problem. Man City, obviously, are going they're to be a five problem. Games away. Um, we've got we've got Crystal Palace next. Crystal Palace have got none of their forward line. All right, they got they got a solid back line. They're not conceding goals, but they're not scoring goals. How do you think we're going to do against I Palace? I think we should be beating them. I've not been impressed by them. I've got to be honest. They're boring to watch. I've got to be honest. Yeah, they're not great. They they, they fluster as far as I'm concerned. Are you worried about Destiny Doggy being out for any length of period at any length of time though? Not really, because some of the squad members need to step up. Because I, I've said it on Henry's show, by the way, uh, um, video, fan cam. I said, the team that's playing right now, the first team that is playing right now, the first 11, it isn't going to be the same at the end of the season. I am sure of it right now. Yeah. Well, we what do you see changing then? Kulicheski won. Oh, you, you want him out? He, he's, he's, he's not been great, sorry. You thought he had a bad game today? I think Saber described him fantastically. He, is he is he a left back? Is he a right back? Because I've I, I seen him as like a right back, as far as I'm concerned. I don't see him as a winger. You know what I mean? Like I, I just see some pe so many people apologise for him so much. Richarlison is Richarlison. Do you like Richarlison? Above a uh, below average Emil Heskey. <laughs> um, <laughs> Um, yeah, enough said on that one. A below average um, Emil Heskey. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's it. Um, that's Bidia. doing a disservice to Emil Heskey. Um, well, yeah, maybe he is. He's um, a um, yeah, um, and then and then you got and then you got um, Oybier. Okay, he's okay. He's been good. Yeah, but still. Alex, if you go and see what Kulusevski's doing, mate, you can F off down here, Ritz. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that's really funny. Mr. Box Office is really talking like that. No, oh, come on now. Anyway, moving on. Um, that was a bit of waffle there. I've got to be honest. Anyway, it's it's very. No, so, uh, listen, uh, let's let's talk about Richarlison. Yeah. Uh, 
I, I, I think Richarlison is... is uh, I agree with you. If you think he's below average, Emil Heskey, I don't know how below average we're talking about here because I think Richarlison is absolutely... I think he's awful. I think he's awful in the nine. I think he's awful off the left. You know, people know how I feel about him. Tell me how you feel about him properly. He's, he's, it's not great. I mean, he's, he's not a winger, is he? He's not a winger, no, he's not. And it's just... Like, I'll tell you now, the least, yeah, if he's got anything about him, he'll take his spot. If Brendan Johnson's got anything about him, he'll take his spot. What do you think about Brendan Johnson tonight? He came on for the last 10. I was calling for him to come on for, from 20 minutes earlier, half, the half an hour mark, I thought Richarlison looked absolutely shattered. I wanted to see Brendan Johnson come on. When, it, when Johnson came on, i got to be honest, I felt like the game was petering out a little bit, but I didn't see Johnson make any efforts for any of the runs he could have been making. It's a bit rough. A bit rough at the moment. I think he's a bit, you know, I think it looks like he's been injured. Let's be honest. Yeah, he's so, definitely injured, yeah, his first so game back, yeah. I think, like I say, I think I think there's a lot of players that need to really step up a little bit because this is their chance. This season, in a build season, yeah, because I'm not talking about top of the league right now because we ain't top of the league. I still think we're going to be... We are top, top of the league. Well, we're going to be top of the league. I don't think we'll be top of the league. I think we'll be sixth at the end of the season or at best or eighth. Well, you're beating Palace, though. We are be- I think. So we're five points clear on Friday night next week, this week. Still... I don't, I don't think I don't I just don't rate this team is going to be there we beating Chelsea I don't know about that right now I well, don't know what do you think that. I think it could be a draw okay. I think, I think, is I think, Chelsea going to be our biggest test uh, of the season no no I think West Ham Aston Villa um, Man City those sort of teams because they, they, they're very tactically very good I think Brighton would be interesting as well yeah. Brighton be very, very interesting because they're very mm. tactically very good. I think em- people like Emery, you know, Emery, Emery, I think they're going to be, you know, Emery, Emery, Unai Emery, yeah, Emery, yeah, yeah, Emery. Yeah, yeah. they're, they're going to be. I never stop hearing about Unai Emery thanks to my uh, relationship with Henry Wright. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I just think, I think, um, I think they'll be, you know. Let me ask difficult. you this, Alex. You're uh, you're not you're, you're reluctant to get on board the uh, the title race tra- train just yet. I get it. I get it. For me, I think the title race doesn't start until January. But right now, it's all about jockeying for position. But Ange Postecoglou has just broken the record for the most amount of points ever from a Premier League manager in the opening nine games of their career. He's, no one's done more. We got three points that we could probably get out of Crystal Palace. But after that, the games start to get a little bit tougher. And they come a little bit faster. We've got Chelsea after that. Then we've got Wolves. Then we've got uh, Villa. Out of quick Palace, Wolves, Villa and Chelsea, how many points are we getting? Um, it's Wolves seven, away and seven, Villa at home. Seven. Seven. Seven from 12. So who, who are we losing to? No, because we're winning against... Uh, we're winning against Palace. Palace. Win against Wolves, I think. Yeah. Drawing against Chelsea. And drawing against Chelsea. So that's seven. And you think we're seven. losing against Villa? Yeah, yeah. Well, I, you didn't mention Villa. I thought it was just uh, Crystal Palace, Wolves, and uh, Chelsea. But yeah, I think. I think. Um, yeah, I think we might. I don't know about Villa. I think we might either get a draw. So I think overall it'd be eight, eight points. Eight points overall. Okay. I think that's right. it. That should still get us top of the table going into. Uh, into December. I mean, if, if, we're, if we're top of the table in January, there's there's a decision to make, isn't there? About you know what? what? I mean? Well, we're, we're going if we're going to go for it, isn't it? You know what I mean? Uh, over to Daniel Levy. Yeah, because if you know, you only get one chance. You know what I mean? If you've got the opportunity to go for it, you've got to go for it, don't you? you know I mean? think so. Last question then for you: If we are in and around it around January, how many players do you think realistically Tottenham will or should be looking to bring in, and in what positions? Two or three? Are, are you joking me? I've just, I've just, crit- I've just criticised no, him. Richarlison just gone past. Richarlison's just driven past. That's what happens when you hang around. Bang average as well. So yeah. that's it. That's a ironic one. You're a below average Emil Heskey. <laughs> don't say that. I don't get punched. Like, come on, now. <laughs> and it's nice, Lamborghini as well. Uh, unbelievable. Hell, you know unbelievable. What I mean? Alex, where can people find you, mate? Um, it's Mr. Box Office TV. I'm sorry to everybody that um, my fan base that um, I have not been on TV a lot, but it's it's actually nice to actually say Mr. Box Office again. You know what I mean? It's not it's nice. You know what I mean? The main event. You know what I mean? The way that 
banter's Sean every single time and Henry as well. He banters you know us. I mean? um, but anyway, like I said, yeah, but um, thanks. So we're, we're, we're starting finishing this year? Sixth. You said, right? Sixth. There you go, you heard it there first from Mr. Box Office, outside the Champions League, I disagree. Henry thinks it's a title charge. We've just slagged off Richarlison from a distance. You can't see what Daniel Levy's doing, you can F off Danny Emirates. <laughs> <laughs> like, subscribe and comment, and as always, bye-bye. <laughs>